Welcome to another special edition of AMA Air. I'm Chris Savage, and joining me today is Chad Budro. Chad is AMA's Public Relations and Government Affairs Director. We're here today to provide you with an update regarding government re regulations. And Chad, I understand that you have some updates to provide us with. Yes. Just recently, both the House and then the Senate released their versions of a bill that sets regulatory rules for the FAA. Uh, because the FAA is the governing body of the national airspace, it's essential for members to understand what exactly Congress is saying the FAA can and cannot do. And for the most part, these bills, they have some nuances, they have some, some concerns, but there's a lot of favorable elements with, within this bill for our hobby. And before we get into those details, some context and maybe some explanation is necessary. Right. So we know that lawmaking and other legal issues are complex, and they're difficult to understand sometimes, and they're not everybody's favorite topic. So we're going to try our best to keep this simple and uh, bear with us because even a simple explanation, it might take just a few minutes for us to get through this, but I think it's important that everybody understand how we've gotten to the point that we're at today. Agreed. Agreed. So I want to take a look back at where the bills that were recently released began. So in 2012, legislation was passed that provided a sort of roadmap for the FAA. This law was called the FAA Modernization and Reform Act of 2012, and it authorized funding for a four-year plan to accomplish really a lot of goals for the FAA. One of these goals was establishing how unmanned aircraft systems, such as our models, could safely operate inside the national airspace. Right, and the AMA, because we have a long history, of working with and educating lawmakers in regard to model aviation, Congress came to us and they looked to AMA when they draft the special rule for model aircraft. After all, hobbyists operating within the programming of a community-based organization have an outstanding safety record. And, and as a matter of fact, it's one of the best in all of aviation. So since Congress recognized the ability of CBOs or community-based organizations like the AMA to educate members on safe and responsible operations, Congress wrote into public law that CBOs, community-based organizations, should continue to manage their members of their recreational community. And this distinction allowed hobbyists flying within the programming of organizations like the AMA the freedom to continue flying in the same way that they have for decades. Now, this protection was provided in the section of legislation that is still known as Section 336, or the Special Rule for Model Aircraft. And you mentioned 2012. Since the 2012 Act was a four-year initiative, the legislation was up for renew last year in 2016. This allowed lawmakers to, to check in with the FAA and see what progress has been made and determine how to move forward. Well, last year in 2016, lawmakers ultimately decided to, to extend the program with a few tweaks through September of this year. So just to recap and make sure I understand, right. we started in 2012 with right. a four-year plan, basically protected our interests as hobbyists. In 2016, that four-year plan's up. Congress says, hey, how are things going? What do you need? And they said, let's give it another year. That's exactly right. Now, they made a few tweaks last year, but essentially, let's extend it for a year, and that's where we're at now, and they have a September deadline to, to button up and make any significant changes. Makes a lot of sense. So at this point, Congress is reviewing the FAA's work right. and they're creating that plan for its future. And that plan, like the one introduced in 2012, will eventually become a law. Correct. And since Section 336 is part of the bill that's been introduced, what happens in the legislature over the next few months as they go through that review process and that buttoning up process, it's gonna be pretty important to AMA and, and really relevant to our members. Right, right. So the two bills that were released are drafts of what's called the AIR Act. That's the Aviation Innovation Reform and Reauthorization Act. Chad, can you tell us a little bit about what's in these bills and what does it mean for us as hobbyists? Right. So, you know, we're pleased to share that both the House and the Senate preserved the special rule for model aircraft. These bills are thick and we're continuing to read and it's not just the special rule. There are sections beyond that, that that could affect our members. So we're still processing the information and we encourage our members to stay close to programs like AMA Air, their blog, social media. And as we continue to work out these issues, at some point we may need our members' help in, in engaging Congress and how they could be involved. Absolutely. Well, Chad, 
I very, very much thank you for coming on the program today and giving us an update on this very, very important topic. Um, since these bills have been drafted and introduced, are they going to go through any kind of final revisions now, or is this it? Is this the law? So the workflow is there's a committee in the House, a committee in the Senate. The House committee proposed, sent out their language. The Senate committee created theirs. We have only a few days. Tuesday, the House is going to go back to the committee and make any last-minute tweaks. We have until Tuesday. The Senate has, at this point, we're, we're being told Thursday. Once that's completed, it will then go to the floor. And depending on the political landscape and what else is going on, it may go to a vote on the House floor and the Senate floor. And then those two bills will go to another committee where they'll go through another set of amendments and revisions. So we're early in the process, but the sooner we can engage and shape this bill, the better. That's great advice. That's great information. I, I really, really appreciate it. Again, thanks so much for joining us today, Chad. Viewers, I know that was a lot to take in. And if you stuck around, we really, really appreciate it. This is a very, very important topic. And we're excited that, that you are as engaged as you are to want to understand exactly what's going on and, and how this could affect our hobby. So that's all that we have for this special episode of AMA Air. As Chad said, we will, of course, keep you updated as these bills navigate through that legislative process that you just described. Uh, if you want to get more information about how AMA is advocating for you, make sure that you check out AMA in Action in Model Aviation Magazine, or you can always visit modelaircraft.org gov for the latest information. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.